there are three steps for providing mental health and psychosocial support. 1. Always offer first-line support by applying the LIVES model. This support may be enough for women experiencing temporary psychological stress. 2. Offer basic psychosocial support. Three, make regular follow-up appointments for monitoring and further support one to three months after the event and assess for mental health problems if symptoms are severe enough to affect day-to-day -day functioning and do not decrease over time. Remember to offer first-line support as a first step. First-line support involves five simple elements. The letters in the word LIVES can help you remember them. Identify and discuss issues that are causing stress and having an impact on the survivor's life. Ask, what is your biggest worry these days? What are your most serious problems right now? And how are these problems or worries affecting you? You can help a survivor of intimate partner violence and sexual violence to manage the stresses in her life, including the mental health effects of her experience. But in general, do not give direct advice. Encourage the woman to find her own solutions. Avoid saying, you should try to relax more, and instead ask, what kinds of things or activities would help you relax? Rather than saying, don't think about things like that, try asking, what would help distract you from those type of thoughts? Avoid telling a woman just to stay away from that place or those people and ask, is it possible for you to avoid that place or those people? Recognize that it isn't always possible for a survivor to avoid these situations and make it clear that she is not to blame if she doesn't.